Hi everyone, in today's video, I just want to do a brief unboxing and setup of the KeepKey cryptocurrency hardware wallet. This is one of the top three cryptocurrency wallets next to Ledger and Treasure. When you open the box, the first thing you'll see is the device itself. This hardware wallet has a fairly good build quality, and what I like about this over its competitors is that it has a fairly large screen which is useful for viewing public keys and verifying transactions. Further in the box, you should see the recovery card. This card is really written on your 12 word recovery phrase which is used to back up the device. After that, you should see the warranty, followed by a braided micro USB cable. This cable is used to connect the device to the computer and they include a very lengthy cable for you. Just for comparison here, I have a Ledger Nano S and we're going to put the two devices side by side. You can quickly see the Keep Key is much larger than the Nano S. However, both the devices do the same thing and although the Keep Key is larger, I will still consider it a portable device. So this concludes our unboxing aspect of the video. All that's left to do now is to go to the website on the top of the box which is www.keepkey.com slash get started so we can set up the device. When you visit the website, you'll see that KeepKey is the product of the well-established cryptocurrency company called Shapeshift, whose founder Eric Voorhees is well known in the cryptocurrency community. On the website, you'll get a glimpse of what the platform will look like, as well as a series of instructions for setting up your device. Step 1 involves going to the website beta.shapeshift.com. While the online platform loads, I'm going to plug in my device. And quickly, you'll see that I've received a prompt showing that my device needs to be updated. The platform recognizes that I have a Mac computer and I click download to get the Keep Key Updater. To open the application, I simply right click on it and allow it to pass all of Apple's security checks. Once it's open, I realize that there are two updates I must make. The first is the bootloader and the second is the firmware update. This device is a new device so I'll click this and I'll be taken to a next screen where I'll be given a series of prompts to update the device. The majority of the instructions involve holding down the button on the side of the device while unplugging and plugging it back in. Now that that is complete, the next update will be the firmware update and in this update you just simply hold the button on the side of the device until you get a confirmation check. Then you unplug and plug back in the device and the update should be completed in no time. Now once all of the updates are complete, we head back over to the Shapeshift platform to begin pairing our device. Once you have agreed to the terms and conditions, you can start to pair the device and this involves four steps, which involve creating a label for your device, creating a pin, generating your backup phrase and writing them down, and then registering your device with Shapeshift. For this device, I'll simply label it Kevin's Keep Key. And for the pin, which is never shown on the computer screen but on the device itself, you click the corresponding tile which represent the numbers you want on a device. And you must note that each time you plug in device, your numbers are always scrambled, therefore the combination you see on the screen will not be the same combination you enter each and every time. The next step will be the recovery phrase where you're asked to write down the 12 words used to back up your device. Now these 12 words are not to be shared with anyone. And it is best practice not to create a digital copy of these words. So you take the card from the box and you write down the words as you see in the correct order on the card provided. Once you're finished, you press and hold the button on the keep key to confirm that you have written down your phrases. Now that your device is successfully paired, I just want to briefly show you around the Shapeshift platform. 
On the left, you have assets. As you can see, Shapeshift supports a variety of cryptocurrencies. You can also trade between these cryptocurrencies once you are a verified user of the platform. Going back to the dashboard, this is where you would display your portfolio. Right now, as you can see, mine is empty. But as I start to add currencies, you'll be able to see a nice display of all the currencies and totals that you have stored on your Keep Keep device. So this brings me to the end of my unboxing and setup video for the Keep Key hardware wallet. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like, share and comment below. If you're interested in getting this device or the Nano Ledger S, my affiliate links are in the description below. Thank you for watching.